This is question number 23 from the June 2016 Algebra Regents exam. In this question, we're dealing with a store that's selling self-serve frozen yogurt sundaes. And it says the function C of W represents the cost in dollars of a sundae that weighs W ounces. An appropriate domain for the function would be which set of numbers. So I think a good starting point for this is try to visualize what this graph could look like. So the function c of w, that's our dependent variable. That's going to be on the left-hand side. And the weight is our independent variable on the x-axis. And this is because the cost of the Sundays are dependent on how much they weigh. That makes sense, right? And we can imagine that the weight of the um, the, as the weight of the Sundays increase, the cost will probably increase as well. So it might be something along those kind of lines. Now, this has helped because what we're trying to find is an appropriate domain. And now that we've kind of graphed it, we can picture, okay, well, we're talking about the, um, the X values, which in this case is the weight of the ice cream. So we're trying to find out what would make sense for the weight of the ice cream. Does integers make sense? Well, an integer's doesn't make sense because you can't have, that implies that there's negative numbers, right? And we can't have neg a negative weight of anything. So that rules out integers. For the same reason, it also rules out rational numbers because rational numbers implies that um, it could be negative as well. So that can't be right. So three and four are both non-negative, so that's a good sign. So it's, it must be either integers or rational numbers. Now we gotta think, can the weight of uh, these frozen yogurt sundaes be an integer? Yeah, it could be like 5 ounces, it could be 10 or whatever, but it could also be rational because it could be 5.5 ounces, for example. It could be 5 and 1 third. So there's no reason why it couldn't be a rational number. So uh, number 4 would be the best answer for this question. Thanks for watching JD's Regions Preparation.